I've heard good things about it so far. I haven't seen any spoilers or anything like that or any or actual any like actual scores on the game, but I've been hearing some very great things about it. And I'm hoping the game in context with the other Resident Evil games makes sense cuz if you watch my demo that I played the demo that I played of this game, I kind of had my fears that Capcom made this game to jump on the VR bandwagon and that they should have done it with an, like an offshoot Resident Evil game, kind of like how there's Resident Evil Revelations. They should have done this as like an offshoot one. I didn't see why they needed to make uh, the next main numbered entry into Resident Evil a you know a, a first person game and change it completely. I mean, all the games have been third person. Uh, at least all of the main numbered series games have been in the third person. Even the older ones were in third person, even though they had fixed camera angles, they were still in the vein of a third person game. So uh, I was a little bit worried, but I mean, as long as the game is good and the game is fun, I mean, at the end of the day, who really gives a shit, right? So let's go ahead and get started with this game. Hope you guys are excited. I am super excited. I love it when we get a horror game because consoles don't tend to get any really good horror games that much or at least no like big budget ones, so I'm really interested to see what this game has to offer. But let's go ahead and get this bitch started. Hey baby! I just wanted to send a quick hello and I love you. Oh, good news! I'm gonna be coming home soon. Yay! Oh, I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job. And come home to my loving husband. I miss you. Oh, I gotta get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. It's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You all right? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. Maybe it's a prank. She wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. Okay, this is weird. Like, the inside of the car looks like a video game, then the outside of the car just looks very blurry and odd. And so far is just like the new Blair Witch movie. <laughs> Ooh, that dude had one nasty vein on his hand. This is the place. This seems exactly like... The, if you guys haven't seen the new Blair Witch movie that just came out, like... I guess 2016 now. It's 2017 now, holy shit. But, uh, the 2016 Blair Witch movie, which... This is almost exactly like it so far. Um... So the camera's a tad bit delayed, but not, you know, too bad. Um, I'm not playing this with PlayStation VR. I don't have VR. I don't want to do VR. It's interesting, but kind of a gimmick at the moment, I think. But, oh, the house. Um, wait, that's Crouch? That's... Um, maybe that's not too weird. I've been playing, like, a lot of Killing Floor lately. So, triangle is my inventory, apparently. Alright, 
What is this? Email from Mia. Okay, so, okay. So, so after three years, this dude is, oh, this is slightly in the future, I guess, July 18th, 2017. <clears throat> this dude is going to, who, his girlfriend or whoever, his girlfriend, wife, sorry, wife, who has been gone for three years, sends him an email or letter or whatever that says the place, like the state, the place, and come get me. After three years, <clears throat> he's going to believe a message that simple. You figured she'd send a more lengthy email and explaining shit. Like, dude, come on. For the love of God. Anyway. So, okay, there is a run. Check my objective. We get a map. This already kind of feels like, uh, has like some elements of the older Resident Evils in it. That's pretty cool. I actually bought Yakuza 0 too, which I am pumped to play. I love Yakuza. There's no lock on that. It just looks like the chain is somehow Hide together. Hey. Shit. No shit, they're gonna fucking open up. So we're in Louisiana. It's like an old plantation house. Yeah, look at that vein on the dude's hand. Holy crap. Alright. I can't imagine there's unlimited sprint, but, uh... Oh, hello. Sewer gators! Sneak into a Louisiana ghost house. Project Proposal, Sewer Gators Episode 17, Sneak Into a Louisiana Ghost House. Okay. Join us. Ooh, spooky. Well, I guess that's about it for that. Can I not open the... the back? I guess not. So I got tripods here and shit. Huh. Accept her gift. How about fuck you? You know what I want? I want another, uh... I want another Evil Within game. I like the first one. Definitely could have been improved, though. Seems like a terrible idea. Can you, uh... Options. Controls. Can you change camera speed? Let's do that. Camera acceleration. I'm not even sure I know what that means. Well, I think something is wrong with my controller. I was playing Killing Floor, and I noticed my the like the camera in that game spins faster going left than it does right, and it seems a little less noticeable in this game. But I think it's the same. So my controller, my, my thumbstick on my controller may be a little jacked. I may have to get a new one. I don't necessarily want to do that either, but whatever. I have to be able to play the video games I'm buying. Who the fuck was that? wonder if this shit, uh, well, no, from the demo, I mean, it didn't seem like we were dealing with ghosts here, which if we were dealing with ghosts, that's definitely not Resident Evil, but I barely saw that dude, too. I'm surprised I caught it. I should probably, I'm too busy, like, looking around and shit. 
I should probably pay attention to more what's in front of me, but I mean, it's a horror game. I gotta look around because there's probably shit I'm gonna miss. Like there's crows there, and are those horse legs? Like Japanese are weird, man. What the? F what is this? Like I can't actually for the life of me tell what this actually is like it is it just rocks and something's laying on it like I don't know I don't know what the fuck is going on here so okay I guess are cow legs or bull legs or something like and saw blades hanging by rope the Japanese really are weird man I always find it interesting, like, the uh, Capcom, actually I probably should check, I don't have the, I have the game case on my shelf right now, I probably should check if Capcom actually had a Japanese developer work on this game. I imagine they would, because I think all the Resident Evil games have been made by Japanese developers. It's like, it always interests me though, like, when a Japanese developer says, oh, let's make a game, not only based in the United States, but dead crows but based in Louisiana of all places like what's with the crows there's a fire like why would this dude come here alone driver's license. So is this her bag after three years still here for some reason? Alright, she's from Texas. Aha! So did I get to keep it? No? I guess I just found it. Oh, no, there it is. Can we take a closer look at it? I mean, it definitely looks like it's got three years worth of dirt on it. The dude should have saw this place and been like, there's no there's no way in hell she's here. Oh, I was talking about the new Blair Witch movie that came out in 2016. If you guys have not seen it, watch it. It is hilarious. And, and yes, it is a horror movie, and I shouldn't describe it with the word hilarious, but there's a scene in the movie where the this chick gets spoilers. It's not a big spoiler or anything. It's not like a plot point in the movie or anything, but it... This chick gets bent in half and folded like a pretzel. Like, it is. I thought that was a person over there. It is, like, hilarious. And, like, the original Blair Witch Project movie wasn't that great either. It's kind of become, like, a cult classic at this point. But it's just, like, it. Oh, it's hilarious. It's fucking dark in here, is what it is. And the door just shuts behind me, and this dude doesn't question it. But whatever. Like, it seemed like I was a little bit worried about this game because it seems like Capcom was jumping on that, you know, VR craze. And oh, it's exit opens door, so I'm guessing this one's just. At least he was smart enough to bring the flashlight. I mean, normally, you know, horror game 101 is to shut the door behind you, but lately, the horror games I've been playing, you better keep those doors open because you're going to have to go back through them. Oh, I heard that. So I guess they want a key. That's what they want from me. Oh, and I don't I didn't show it, but like when you first open up this game there are some settings you can do. Some slight oh that oh. 
that's nice. There are some slight settings you can do. Uh, one of the messages that pops up at the, at the beginning of this game is, you know, take a break every once in a while if the game is like too much for you. Oh, how polite. I mean, I'm sure these people don't really have a water bill to worry about. Well, that's interesting. Can I close this drawer? No. Oh, that requires a key. Ah, fuck! Fuck! Huh. Interesting. Ooh, that is a microwaved crow. Absolutely. Over 20 missing in two years. People are really that stupid. I swear to God, I keep hearing something over here. Whoever's making the noise needs to stop it. Now that is just delicious. Well, there's trash in the oven. That's slightly odd, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't seen anything about how long this game is. Alright. What the hell is that? Just, I'm gonna close that. that pretend like I didn't see it. Now this is where the original demo took place, the beginning hour demo or whatever. So I don't know if it's gonna follow the same events that that demo did. So far it doesn't really seem like it. Okay, that's sad. I believe this was like the front door. Doesn't seem like you have to press X to open doors, you can just kind of run into them. See, so yeah, here are the fuses. There's one missing. I don't really want to play the piano and make noise. Oh, never mind. Piano said, fuck you. We need to find the VHS tape. What the? I thought that was a clown picture. I was like, what in the hell? I want to say, like, in the demo, though, the fireplace was knocked out. Looks like the owners. Hey, whatever happened to them? Well, we only know some fucked up shit happened to them. Okay. There's another picture. That's sketchy. That is also a bit sketchy. That looks like... I thought I heard a step like right outside the door. Looks like it could be his wife. But his wife is also, you know, generic looking female number six. Wasn't there a basement in the game too. It's probably that door. It's boarded up. I, mean, I can only imagine how many jump scares are going to be in this game. So I'm trying to mentally prepare myself. I believe that looks like an outlet. What does this do? It says stairs. Like what? I believe in the demo some mannequins popped up or something. Derelict house footage. Okay.
the flashlight is like, it doesn't help too, the flashlight is slightly delayed from the camera. I feel like they did that on purpose to help with the tension. Oh, they're going back to this. Okay. They're, okay, that's interesting. In uh, the older Final Fantasy games, they had something kind of similar to this, where you had to go to, like, a, a fucking, what is it called, a typewriter to save the game, and you needed, you needed ink ribbons, which it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case in this game, but, um, yeah, you had to go to, like, typewriters to save. I think it was the same in Resident Evil 4, wasn't it? Like, you had to go to a typewriter or something. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've played. It's been a while since I played any Resident Evil. Last one I played was Revelations 2 when that came out, which I believe was what 2015. How this place still has electricity is beyond me. Guy, give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. New plan. We do a walkthrough of the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Ecstatic. This was in the demo, I think. Are we rolling? Now let's go. Get out of the way. It's locked. After you. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever press? What's a press? Shitty house, spooky sound. Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. Kind of sounds like Sorry, a douche. Andre. Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh... Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit. I know I should have worn my good shoes. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? 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 Clancy, you see where Andre went? No idea. I'm just gonna open the disgusting fridge that looks like it's the same. Is that a pack of cigarettes? Well, they put a. Oh, the crow has been put in there at this point. Well. I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. What the fuck was that? 
Did you hear that? Nope. Andre? Where the fuck is he? Andre, where are you, man? Really does set a mood, don't it? So they're pulling Blair Witch shit right there. Coming down the ladder. So, uh, you first. You just said fuck this show, dickhead. What do you see? What is it? Slowly. Well, I see Homeboy. Who, uh,. It's not looking so well. What was that click? So my guess is the moral of the story. Let's pull this to go in here because I'm a moron. Can I like close that? That was gross. Well, at least look. Oh, shit. Damn it. Wasn't that long of a drop, so. Should be alright. At least they cleaned up the bodies. How far is this dude willing to go for this chick? Yeah, 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 love and all that shit, but come on. There's an extent. There's an extent I'm willing to go for love, and this is exceeding that. This is just a little bit f farther than what I'm willing to do for this thing called the love. The fuck? Okay. I didn't. I didn't like that. Oh. Oh, I think that's what's his face. I guess these are all the people that have gone missing here. 
possibly. This may as well be the sewer level. What the fuck was that? There's a toilet down here with syringes in it. Oh, joy. She's dead as fuck, man. I mean, come on. Look at that. It's probably her, but I mean, she's gotta be dead as fuck. Ben, dead. Harold turned. Arthur turned. Tamara turned. Dead, 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 turned, dead, dead. L? What is L? What the? I didn't look at the back side. Oh, there's more. Does L mean living? Maybe? Mia? And it, next to Mia doesn't say anything, which I believe is his wife's name. Or I believe it's the name he just called out. Ooh, hey, bolt cutters. But now what? What is down here? So what the hell happened here? There's like... I mean, this is curious. I, it seemed like we were dealing with just some crazy, like a crazy family or something. I'm really curious as to how they're going to spin the zombie thing here. Like, there you have to be some... Clever bastards to somehow weave a zombie story into this. Because everything up to this point in Resident Evil has kind of been like a big corporation thing. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Hey, who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! Okay. Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone for three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? This chick is against me. I swear to God, she's calling the dude daddy. Like, don't trust this bitch. <laughs> What is this place? What'd they do to you? Not now. We need to get out of here first. I think it's this way. I don't trust her. Somehow the way the characters move is very... I don't know, the way they look and move just seems kind of very realistic. you said not me that wasn't me but you did I didn't okay fine just tell me what's going on I'm telling you everything that I know you haven't told me jack shit we have to go this way Mia are you sure 
sure you know where you're going? Family used to bring me food through here. I remember. Used to? Bitch, don't move on your own, alright? There. It's there. This is it. This is not... I remember this room. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone! We're gonna be a family. Oh, fuck now that. There's a doll. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Mia. We gotta get out of here. Just stay here, alright? I'm gonna have a look around. This bitch. E001. That is an old lady. I'm trying to get the picture at the right orientation, but eh, eh, it's a little odd. Okay. Huh. So was she victim number one? There's a fucking doll in here, and it's gonna do something. It looks so different from everything else in this room that it's gonna... No, oh, hold on. Doll. I had to look at it first. Mia? How the... Oh, great. Oh, fuck this. So it's, oh, it's raining now. Close the damn door. Can't see outside. So is this like the main house now? Of course there's no service. There is an autosave in this game, so I wonder why they have it to where... Like that little tape recorder is the save. So I guess we're not in the main house yet, we're still in like a... I have no idea. But whatever, we'll close that. This leads over there. I want to check this bedroom first. Wait, this isn't a bedroom. This is oh, I re I just read it wrong. Bathroom. First aid med. Okay. I guess they decided not to use a. banging and I thought it was coming from this direction but I couldn't tell if it was back there or if it was through here into this hallway I guess it was coming from the basement because I actually can't go through this door why 
why would it make me go through? I mean, my, my first instinct tells me to go back through the, uh, the basement, or whatever that is. But... Oh, I hear something. What the fuck? How'd you get back down here? Oh my god, she's strong. Okay, I'm resisting. Ow. Mia, wait. Wait. Ow. Oh god. It's just crazy. Get her off me. I'm resisting. Fucker. I mean, I'm pressing R2. I don't know if I'm supposed to hold it or I've been pressing it this whole time. I deserve this. What the fuck are you, Mia? Fucking insane is what she is. Where'd the knife go? Don't, don't you fucking tell me that the knife is gone. Can I just step all over her? Oh, that's interesting. So before it was... Okay, door's closed. I mean, it doesn't seem like I can really do anything with her. I guess I'm just gonna leave her there, because she's fucking insane. Mashing her head against a wall like a nut. That's still locked. Oh, now she's moving. Oh, shit. Where'd the knife go? Oh, this'll work. You shouldn't have come, Ethan. Now you have to be dead, too. Ow. Bitch. Get off me. I'll deck you in the face. Get out of here. Hold on. Yeah, I know your wife is dead. Fuck her. Get the axe out of her neck. The phone is fucking ringing now. Not a good time. I just got thrown in here. Alright. I'll answer. You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? And what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. Well, this is interesting. It sounds like that door over here opened. What? 
You... I fucking knew it was gonna be... I knew her body was gonna be gone. I fucking knew it. So, does the, uh... Do the weapons break at all? I have a feeling they probably could. But... Okay, that's block for reference. I didn't want to do that. I really didn't want to do that. So now I have no health. I have no health now. That is just great. Fuck this. Oh, wow. That was cool, actually. Got stuck in the wood. So that's interesting. Huh. A little detail, but appreciate it. Oh, the bitch got up. Sh oh, wait. We're back here. Those lights weren't on before. I'm gonna look through the kitchen again. Just because you never know. I mean, that light was not on last time. And I do have these now. Block. Oh. Oh, the fuse. Cool. Oh. Nice. I was hoping I was hoping there'd be health in there, but I mean I guess no dice. Gave me health and I squandered it. Oh, hear noises. Oh, that bitch. Where the fuck was she hanging out at? Huh. There's a fish on the wall. I should just walk around like this. Fucking try me. Try it. Why'd I come up here? There's a... The fuse thing is down here. Like, no, hold on a second. Fuck that door. Let's see, fuse. Oh. Ethan, it's okay. It's okay, it's me. Bitch. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. She's holding a knife. I see your shadow, bitch. But you shouldn't have done that. It fucking hurts. Oh my god. Get it out. What is she doing? I keep trying to pull it out. Just... She... Oh, she... bitch did grab a chainsaw. Let's see how you feel. Oh, you have to hold it. Oh! That was my hand. Surely I'm not gonna... I have a nub. How am I gonna use a gun now? This... this can't be good. This 
This cannot be good. No amount of first first aid juice is gonna solve this problem. This door wasn't shut before. Whoops. I may as well just drink this bleach right here. I mean, kind of screwed. This dude is coping very well, by the way, with just getting his hand cut off. I wonder if there was, like, I didn't know I had to hold R2. So I'm wondering if there's, like, a. I mean, there's a hand. Oh, handgun? Sweet. Now, you. Like, I'm tempted okay, to. Fine. I'm tempted to use my health to see if it'll, like, magically reconnect my hand, but my hand is now, like, an item in my inventory. There's no way that. That's gonna solve my problem here. Hopefully there's no like two-handed weapons in this game or else I'm at a large disadvantage oh great mannequins. I'm at a large disadvantage. Okay. And they have just three TVs laying there? Okay. Lady said there was a way out through the attic. Okay, so I know what this means. They led me in here to grab this ammo, and I'm going to be greeted with this nutcase. Came up here, and is going to try and kill me again with the chainsaw. She said there was a way out through the attic. This is not a way out. I didn't even notice that mannequin there. Okay. She closed the fridge. She hiding in the fridge. Okay, that door's still I'm assuming locked. Aiming is kind of strange. Not bad, just different. I think I'm getting to the point where I probably would have died of blood loss by this point. No way in hell I have to go back to the basement, do I? Man, 
is there ammo in my bottom slot? Is it because I'm full everywhere else? Fuck it. I'm using the gun. Now hold on a second. Hold on. Uno momento. Well. Interesting painting. I may as well save since I'm here. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So why is all the stuff for this game showing up as Resident Evil 7 Biohazard? It seems a little like redundant. Because it's basically like saying Resident Evil 7 Resident Evil. Because they call Resident Evil Biohazard in, in Japan. In said attic. With no means of escape. Except a fucking ladder right here that I wasn't paying attention to. I hear the chains. Oh my. Bitch! I don't want your help. How? Ow. Interesting feature. She did. Huh. I love you. Fuck you. Hold on. No taking the chainsaw. I don't have any health either. I'm a little sad. Welcome to the family, son. What the? F oh, well, he seemed perfectly normal. I mean, well, besides being insane, he looked normal. And he sounded normal. <laughs> 